Rob Orgel with Spartan Armor Systems. Today we're going to be shooting three Alpha body armor from a soft plate at way too close ranges. Typically, NIJ standard would put you at approximately 15 feet, but today we're going to shoot at three feet with 9mm, 357 Magnum, 45 ACP, and the 44 Magnum. We're going to be doing tests on rubber bob as well as clay. What we're looking for specifically is back face deformation and penetration. So here you can see the clay is very flat. As we shoot it with the 9mm and especially the 44 Magnum, we're going to see back face deformation. And what that's going to do is simulate the blunt force trauma you're going to feel when you receive a round way too close. So here we're taking 9mm defensive ammunition. This specifically is Federal Hydroshock 124 grain. All right, so let's take a look at what the 9mm did. First, let's loosen this guy up a little bit. So you can see a large amount of deformation back here. That definitely broke some ribs and really put you down for a while. But it looks like the bullet didn't penetrate. So you're probably gonna go to the hospital and have a rough day, but you're gonna be fine. So here we're gonna use a 44 Magnum, specifically the Federal Hydroshock. And we're gonna shoot it three feet on three Alpha Spartan Armor systems to see what kind of damage it's gonna do to our clay and search for penetration. So here we can see the 44 Magnum mate entry, and you can see a massive amount of blunt force trauma, particularly on the clay. This guy went to the hospital, he went down and probably did not get back up, but he probably also didn't die from these injuries. But with this amount of indentation, you definitely broke some ribs, you might have had some organ issues, but you're gonna survive this. So here we've got the Spartan Armor DL Plate Carrier. This is a low profile kit, and inside of it we've got three Alpha body armor. We're gonna see what happens with nine millimeter, 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, and of course, 45 ACP. So here we've got a Glock 19X, obviously a nine millimeter, and we're using nine millimeter defensive ammunition from Federal. So here we've got a 1911 and 45 with Federal Hydroshock ammunition. Here we've got a Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum with Federal Hydroshock. Here we have a 44 Magnum with Federal Hydroshock ammunition. So here we've got the 9mm, 45 ACP, 357 Magnum, and 44 Magnum. Let's see if anything penetrated. So here you can see the Spartan Armor Level 3 Alpha Flex Fuse Core stopped all four rounds. Here's the 9mm, 45 ACP, 357 Magnum, and 44 Magnum. So here you can see the 9mm round made its way into the vest. You can see it caught the bullet completely, and it didn't penetrate very deep. In fact, there's very little back face deformation, which is pretty crazy given how close we were. So here you can see the 45 ACP made entry into the DL vest. However, it stopped very shallow. There's a little bit of back face deformation, so he felt that energy, but it came to a shallow stop. Here in the bottom left, you can see we've got the 357 Magnum, and you can see where it made entry into the vest. However, the vest stopped the bullet completely. He definitely felt something, but it wasn't bad at all. Here we've got the 44 Magnum with the massive energy it delivered into this vest. He definitely felt it. However, the Spartan Armor Systems Flex Fuse Core 3 Alpha stopped that round completely. It definitely made some back face deformation and hurt quite a bit, but that bullet did not get through. So in this video, we got a unique opportunity to see what the Spartan Armor System Level 3 Alpha Flex Fuse Core is capable of stopping. Not just meeting the standard of 15 feet, but exceeding the standard and moving into those extreme close quarters. If someone wants to do you harm or attack you, it's not likely they're gonna be 15 feet away. So meeting and exceeding that standard helps me sleep well at night. 
For any questions from Spartan Armor, check us out at SpartanArmorSystems.com.